happy Friday, everybody. We'll give everybody a minute to kind of pop in for some grit cardio. Just back in Jody Naylor's garage. So shout out to her for letting me use the space. Super grateful, and my entire apartment building also is super grateful, and they would just love to send her a huge thank you for my apartment building, especially for two. Um, they really appreciate that. Hey, Lane, what's up? I'm pretending you're responding in my mind. <laughs> oh, then she says, hey, but no, seriously, in my mind, though, and I see everybody popping in, it's all good. So we'll just take another minute or so to give people a second to kind of get here and get settled in, get mentally in the moment. Well, that's happening, I'm gonna do a quick sound check. So I'm gonna put the music up to regular volume. I'm gonna stand in my spot. And if someone could comment below if they can hear me and the music okay. Um, for this class, hearing my voice is gonna be really important because there's a lot of safety cues that I'm gonna give. the mix, how's the music? Can you hear me okay from here? Check, check, check. Three blocks of work, just do a little sound check. Is there any way to do a sound check that's not awkward with like no people in a microphone? Can you hear me okay? I know there's a little delay in the comments. Sounds good, Elaine, thank you. I can adjust too, so that's really important. Awesome. So that's really important. So during class today, every song, the volume's a little bit different. So um, if you can't hear me at all, or it gets the mix isn't great, or you can't hear the music because you need that to be fired up, right? Um, just let me know, and I'll keep my eye really close onto the comments, um, and I'll make sure I give you that. Pamela, is the, um, is the music loud, or is my voice too loud before? I'm guessing probably the music, yeah? Cool. Just comment below. That's super helpful. Um, but welcome to Les Mills Grit Cardio. My name is Sarah, and I'm so excited to be sharing um, Grit Cardio with you today. So all you need to know is that this class is gonna be 30 minutes, and it's high intensity interval training. So that means we're gonna work super hard for short blocks of work. Pamela's saying louder the better both. I love that. Yes, we like it loud. That's what she's saying. Yes, okay, cool, me too. Um, so for high intensity interval training, we're gonna work super, super hard. We're gonna get that heart rate up and then we're gonna recover. And so that recovery piece is super important. So um, what you need to do today is take care of your body. I'm not there in person to watch you move and to make sure you're staying safe. So it's gonna be your job to just make sure that if anything doesn't feel right in your body, that you're taking a different option or you're taking a break when you need to. I'll offer options throughout the workout, um, but if something doesn't feel right, don't do it. You don't have to do what I'm doing. So for example, if you wanna keep moving and you're just not sure what the closest move would be, you can always march on the spot, run on the spot, step touch, that's just gonna keep your heart rate up and keep you in the game with us. It's not about doing things the way I do it. It's about moving safely, having fun, learning, and when we do that, we're gonna get an awesome workout. Cool. Yes, pacing is really important. I don't know about you, but this whole pandemic, um, I haven't been training like I usually do, and so this workout's really, really hard for me. You'll notice I stop. You'll notice I get really fatigued. That's okay. It's all good. It's about staying safe and having fun. Cool. Thanks for coming in. Let's get started here. So since I'm using Jody Naylor's garage, she's actually tw like 12 feet away from me right now, like on the side. So when I look over to the side and like I'm interacting with somebody, that's why. She's over there, but we're keeping our social distancing. You see her arm. Put your arm back in. That was really good. Yep, there's her arm, boom, yep. So she's over there, so when I look at somebody and talk, that's what I'm doing, but we're really honoring that social distancing, so cool. 
Enough talk, Sarah. It's time to get in. I'm nervous because it's so hard. <laughs> I'm a little tired already. Ah! It's okay. We'll get through it together. Yeah? jump, okay? Never have to. Soft knees. Hold up. Grab a drink if you need to. Kim, that is so sweet. Thank you. That's really, really nice. Let's take a quick drink. I love you all. Kim, that was awesome. Thank you. All right. Warmed up, ready for the second track. We've got Tabata. 20 seconds on, 10 second recovery, six rounds. Move one, simple. High knee run on the spot. We're gonna keep the moves simple so we can jack up the heart rate and maximize the intensity. Who's ready? Run, right on the spot. Quick, 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 quick. Are you landing on the balls of your feet? Is your core super tight? Good, option. You can march if you need to, that's fine. You got about five seconds though. Come on, you can do this to the one. Hold, you breathe, watch. Move number two just like the warm up. Switch climber. I hope I'm in frame for that. I'll try different angles. Come on down, plank position. Hands outside shoulders. Long spine, long body. Jump one leg out and jump it back. Now, it's not about 
how high your leg goes towards your hands. Just try to open your hips a little bit. Recover. Breathe. You relax, watch. Air tap. Squat jump. Wide feet. Up. Drop. Too much? No big deal. Stay grounded. If you're jumping today, soft knees and try to keep your chest up. It's all good. Pamela, we got you back. You do whatever you need to do. Recover. Now, now that you've seen the moves, we're gonna go back in and repeat that. Whatever you need to protect your body, you take the options. Run! All right, take any option you need. Walk if you want. But if you're ready for more, can you pretend the floor's on fire? Yeah. And that you're running super, super fast to get the heart rate up. You've got this. Come on. Come on. Hold. High five. Switch over. Step one, long back, hands into the floor. Take it slow. Option, step the legs. Let's try to keep the hips towards the ground and our upper body still. This move develops stability in the trunk of our body. Two, one. This is gonna make us stronger and faster. If you're dizzy, take a recovery and come in when you're ready. Three, two, Air taps, here we go. What's the most important thing? How should our knees be? Soft, yeah. Silent feet as you land. Now, as soon as you land, can you jump back up? Two, one. Hold. Give yourself some love. Take 30 seconds, grab a quick drink. like the 90s? So you like the 90s? I love the 90s. No, I was not born in the 90s. Yes. I was not. I was not. I wasn't. All right, this is the best track of the entire workout. One minute. We're going to work on the beat together, and we're going to have a really good time. Watch. Three speed jacks and one surfer. Start out. Here we go. One, two, three, ba, ba. One, two, out. You got it. Twist. One, two. So start wide, jump in. Soft knees. Woo! Keep going. Can you bring it to me? Three, two, one, ba, ba. Same thing, take it back. Can you whip your hip in that surfer? Bah! Yes. Woo! Are your legs tired? It's all good. Do anything you need to do. Oh, keep going. I believe in you. Do you believe in me? Boom. Right up. That's so much harder. So much harder than I think it's gonna be every time, right? Whew. Are you okay? Recover. We've got drop sets. Four minutes. We start with the hardest move at the beginning of the set. I'll make it easier every 20 seconds. So we can keep the intensity up. One minute. Move one, squat jump, 180 turn. Option, squat jump or squat. Speed outside hips. So land nice and soft here. Using your arms for a little bit of momentum. Option, remember, this is fine. Hips back and down. Move two at the bell. No turn, join me here everybody, this is the next step. If you're not jumping, try this. 
to get a little extra activation in the back of the body. You got this. You got this. New move, watch. Inchworm forward. Inchworm back. Squat jump, go. Walk it out. Walk it back. Different angle for you. As I walk out, I want a really long straight spine. It doesn't have to be fast. Well, let's turn on the core. Hold. Woo! I'm giving you the clap, but I'm trying not to die. I'm tired. Second one minute set. Level one, the hardest one. Jump, tuck, side, tuck. Four, three, two, one. Lateral jump. Tuck. Now, that's insane. That's really hard. Fine. Step, jump. If you're going to take the tuck, knees to chest, land soft. I'm not taking it because I'm tired. And that's okay. Give yourself load. Listen, no tuck. Block jump with a side step. If you like basketball, boom, I'm throwing you the pass. Get low and ready to catch. One dribble, up. Boom. Yeah. Downtown David Ward. Come on. Now just straight. Just a straight jump, or if you want lateral movement, skater. Land something wide. Four step. We got this. Five seconds. You belong here. Remember, you're the boss. You do whatever you need to do, and I love you for that. We're going back to round one. One eighty squat jump. When you're ready. It's slower because the beat's slow. In this set, can you isolate the lower body? Bringing your butt back to the knee line, cranking on the muscle fibers, getting super strong, super fast. Watch, change, no turn. Right into it. Or stay grounded. Or mark in the spot. Remember, this is you. Your heart rate's up. You gotta breathe and control. When you hear the next bell, we add the inch work forward. Hit it! Inchworm out! And right back in. Use your core and try to just create a little bit of control through the body. Yeah. Keeping the hips level. Woo! Oh. Listen. It's okay to be tired and it's okay to sit this one out. Or it's okay to jump in when you're ready. Three, Woo! Three, two, one. Nice and light. Remember your options. You do you. What do we need? Three seconds, no tuck. A little step to the side. Lateral movement to work the outside of the legs and a little up to create some vertical drive. Heart rate spike. Athletic endurance created. Skaters. Option, tap. Option, relax. Option. Woo! Just take a drink or dance. Push out of the outside of the foot. Engage your glutes and believe in your power. Woo. We're taking a 30 second break. And you know what? You can always take a break whenever you want to. But I'm taking one with you. No, this is not body jam or shabam. Sounds like it. 
Ja. All right, can you feel this beat a little bit? We're gonna work endurance training. Two minute ladder. Even numbers. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Two moves. Two burpees. Then, two push ups and use your toes. After two. You've got four, six, eight, ten. Two minutes is a really long time. Pace yourselves. You know, side push. Burpee. Two. Come on down, knees or toes. Two push ups. Wide hands, cut core. After two, four burpees. As you jump back, long spine, really tight core. You've got four of those. If you want to jump, you can. If you want to walk back, you can. Then four push ups. So, we got about 90 seconds left. I know, that's really hard to believe right now. So, take your time here. We want clean movements so we stay super safe. You can do this. Halfway. Is anybody at six reps? I'm not at six reps because I just keep taking breaks to talk to you. I'm tired. It's okay. You can take breaks and come over and talk back to me in your mind. We got about 45 seconds left. Now here's my tip. In the push-ups, experiment with the width of your hands. Let the body fall into the chest. Push the floor away and use the heel of your hand to corkscrew the floor. That's gonna strengthen the muscles of the chest and allow you to activate your power. Yeah. Hold. One. Breathe. One job right now. Breathing. Relax. Your nervous system has just been shocked. So love it. And you come back when you're ready. Same thing. We start at 10 reps. No push-ups. Instead, lunges. Super Four. one. Burpees is move one when you're ready. We start at the top. Ten burpees. If you want to jump, you can. It's up to you. We're walking back. Watch. Yeah, and you know what? Ten's kind of crazy. You can set any number goal you want. You can set your goal as you start at five. You start at four. It's okay. Now let's talk about the lunges. Is there a little space between your feet? Check it. Knee soft. Step back. Now, one lunge each leg equals one rep. In the lunges, slow it down. Hips are square. Front knee behind front toe. Back knee drops to 90. It's okay. It's about control and learning. Halfway. You got this. I have, I have like a put on, I feel like a flying bat. Woo! That's crazy. Stay low and loaded in the lunges if you can. Your front heel. It's like your anchor. Take that and ground yourself to the floor. Less than 30 seconds. Thank God. 
If you need a break, come, come, come close. It's okay. I need a break. It's okay. It's about listening to our bodies. Love yourself right in this moment. Three, two, one. That was a hug. That was not an elbow check. Whew. Take your time. Take a drink. How are you doing, Joe? Are you good? I'm good. So listen, if you're used to this kind of training, I'm used to this training, but I haven't done it in like five or six weeks. So I don't feel very used to it. If you're doing it for the first time, that's okay. Just give yourself permission to grow, okay? It's all good. All right, different vibe here. Light, athletic, agility. One minute, let's focus on the first minute. First 30 seconds, get low. Sprint forward, tap, sprint back, tap. That's the first 30. The second 30, you know what? When you hear the bell in this track, stop and watch and I'll show you then. Get low, sprint to me, one, two, three, tap. Couple quick steps forward, bend your knees, chest stays up. Most important is in that touch, right? You want to protect the lower back. Chest up. Use the legs to come down. Come on. Light and quick. All right, everybody hold up. Watch. Move to lateral shuffle. You got time. You got time. Go. So front view. You can do it sideways, but what we're doing, remember, is warm up. Low, shuffle, tap. Hit square. If you're a basketball player, it's like you're on defense, butt low. Quick, quick, quick. Push out of the side of the foot. Recover. Breathe. Are you okay? Hey, Matthew. I have good news. Same thing. Same thing. Sprint forward and tap. It's strong, come here. Bah. How quickly can you explode forward? Hit the brakes and sprint back. Now you're lucky right now because I just spit all over and none of you are in the front row to hear that or to feel that. That's a good thing, yeah? Next move. Three, two, one. Come with me. Quick. Now, I'll be honest with you right now. My lower back is killing me. And if yours is hurting too, take a break. March on the spot. Jog. Whatever you need to do. We're going to strengthen our core muscles each week. It's all good. Hold. Breathe. The thoughts in your head have to be positive right now because that's insane. Take a moment. We'll come back for the last standing track in about 30 seconds. All right, listen. This is a hard track. It's the last five minutes standing, and the moves are harder. You take care of your body. You do what's safe for you, okay? Let's go for it. Okay. Yes. Five minutes on the feet. Woo! Thank God. All right. We got this. Listen, 30 seconds on. 15 second recovery. Move one. 
Air jacks. 30 seconds. Option. Regular jack. Run on the spot. Come on. You got this. 30 seconds. Land nice and soft. Reminder of the options. Tap low and long. Jack. March. You do you. 15 seconds to go. Here's my tip if you're air jacking. Use the ball of your foot to spring off the floor. Yeah. One. 15 seconds. If you need longer, take it. It means you're putting the work in and you're gonna get results. Move number two, mountain climbers. Knees to chest, long spine. As slow or fast as you wanna go. Step one, hands just outside shoulders. Step two, long spine. Hips spur to the floor. Where do your knees go? Where do they travel? Check it out. 15 seconds. Right to your chest. Walk or run. Recover. Woo! Yes! Listen, this is a tough one, but it's an option. Step, tuck, step back, tuck. Your option, step, straight jump, or squat. Hit it. Step long and low, and up. Or squat. The goal here, keep moving and keep believing. 15 seconds, believe in yourself. This is how we create change in the body. And we take our anaerobic threshold and smash through it. You're gonna be fitter, stronger, faster. You can do anything. Back to move one. Air jacks. 30 seconds. Give yourself permission to have fun with it. Yeah! Woo! How the heck is this fun? Ask yourself that. What are your arms and what are your legs reaching for? Would you have ever thought, five months ago, you'd be doing this move in your house? No. Keep going. You got this. You're super strong. Three, two, Woo! One. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, if your heart rate's crazy high and you're dizzy, do not come down yet. But when you're ready, mountain climbers. Let's create some isolation and stability in the upper body. One. Yes! Come on. Heel with my hand to the floor. Tight. Slow is good. Your core strength happens now. Five seconds, stay with me. I got you. You got me. That was a long five seconds. Mindset is the only thing that matters here. Mindset for the next 30 seconds. You know what mine is? Play. Play. Or dance. Up to you. This is where your body is at its maximum. And that's where we're never supposed to be at our best. So you know what? Love yourself. Love the fight. 15 seconds. Oh, I'm actually on the back end. I'm proud of you. This is hard. 
It's even harder when we're not together. Trust me, I need you guys. Take a minute, celebrate. Give yourself some love. And let the heart rate drop a little bit. We have about two minutes of a core track. If that's not your thing today, don't do it. Instead, just walk around, let the heart rate drop. It's about learning, it's about being safe. It's one step at a time. So, when you're ready, I'm gonna start it, and if you wanna join, that's awesome. If not, walk around and give yourself love for this effort today. into a front plank position. Hands under shoulders. We've got a knee combo. One, two, three, and out. Side, middle, side, and back. Out, in, out, reset. So one leg at a time here. Nice and long through the body. Squeezing my glutes and keeping my core tight. If that's too much, you can come on to your knees. Everybody hold. You move. Watch. Hover position. Knees or toes here. Sorry about the camera angle. I'm working on it. Long spine. Tight glutes. Knees are fine. That's okay. Now come up into a plank. Back to the knee combo. Hold. One, two, three. Now what we're trying to do here is keep our hips flat to the floor. Minimizing the movement through the lower trunk. It's all good, you got this. We've got about 30 seconds left, you can do this. All right, new move, roll back to the back side. We've got a cross crawl. Fingers to temple, opposite elbow, opposite knee. If that's too much, tap your toes. But let's keep the lower back pressed to the floor. Elbows wide, no tension on the neck. Breathe, breathe. This is how we create isolated strength through every part of the midsection. All right, hold. Back to the knee combo. A little bit left, you're super close. One more. You did it! Woo! Claps all around. High five. Woo! I'm tired. I'm dirty. But I'm so, so glad that you came and trained today. Take your time. Give yourself permission to hydrate, relax, and um, take whatever time you need. If you have questions or comments, I'm Sarah. You can find me on Facebook or on Instagram. And um, I'm here for you. And I'm so, so, so grateful that I get to share this with you in these um, really weird, hard times. This has been a light for me. And it's been really difficult, as I said, to train. And um, this is making it possible. So you guys inspire me a ton. And I'm so grateful you're here. So thank you. And on questions or comments, I got you. So reach out and um, I can't wait to see you next time. Thanks so much. High fives.